Hi, Andrew Jones here from the IBM Digital Technical Engagement Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with IBM Cloud HyperProtect Crypto Services. We will begin by using the IBM Cloud Portal to provision a new instance of the IBM Cloud HyperProtect Crypto Service. Next, we will perform the initialization and key ceremony for the server instance. And finally, we will return to the IBM Cloud Portal and create a root key that you can use to protect your data. So, sit back and see how it's done. You will find IBM Cloud HyperProtect Crypto Services in the IBM Cloud Catalog under Security and Identity. To create a new instance, you will need to select a geographic region in which to deploy, give the instance a name, and specify the number of hardware security modules you desire between 1 and 3. For production deployments, a minimum of 2 is recommended. The initialization and key ceremony for the service instance is illustrated in this flow diagram. We will begin by creating a signature key on your workstation. The signature key owner should be the only person who knows the password associated with the signature key file. Next, we need to manage the administrators for our instance. You will need to create at least one administrator, but you can add others. Since the service instance we accessed is new, we begin in imprint mode. In imprint mode, the command to add a crypto unit administrator does not need to be signed. A crypto unit in imprint mode is not considered secure. You cannot run most of the administrative commands, such as loading the new master key register in imprint mode. Once we have created our administrators, we will exit imprint mode. Next, we will create our master key parts. You must create at least two master key parts. For security considerations, three master key parts can be used and each key part can and probably should be owned by a different person. The key part owner should be the only person who knows the password associated with the key part file. Next, we will load the master key register. This process includes loading the master key register with the key parts we created and then committing the new master key register. And finally, we activate the master key. This process is all done via the IBM command line. Let's watch.
Now that your service instance is initialized, we can return to the IBM Cloud Portal and add a key that we can use to protect our data. You can also use the Key Management API with the dedicated public and private endpoints to manage keys. That was a quick introduction on how to get started with IBM Cloud HyperProtect Crypto Services. To recap, in this demonstration we showed you how to provision and initialize a service instance and how to create your first root key to protect your data with that service. You can learn more about this process and how you can leverage IBM Cloud HyperProtect Crypto Services at these URLs.